This is a story that I believe will shock you, will sadden you, and hopefully by the end will inspire you. It's a comeback story from a disease that millions of Americans battle. There's a stigma and there's an embarrassment attached to it. Um, so what's that have to do with sports? He's a college wrestler. My man literally lost half of himself. January 2009, it's wrestling night at Baldwin Wallace College, a Division III school near Cleveland. Inside the Higgins Center, an unlikely comeback story continues. All right, Terrence, let's go to work now. Terrence Haynes isn't your ordinary heavyweight. He is a 45-year-old junior competing for the first time in 32 years. In the years that I've coached, I've never seen a 45-year-old man try to come out for a wrestling team, especially one that has little or no experience. I'm trying my best. It's okay. You just got to keep working hard. But Haynes' story isn't so much about age as it is about making weight. Hello, my name is Terrence G. Haynes. Today is December the 9th, 2007. Today I weigh 405 pounds. Last week I weighed... As long as he can remember, Haynes has had a problem. Food, food that made me feel like I have no cures in the world. It was like a drug. I hide it under my bed, under a pillow, in my pants. What would you put in your pants? I put chicken, a piece of chicken in my pants. And... Like, I, just a, I mean, did you wrap it up or you just put it? No, on? I didn't wrap it up. You don't have time to do that. He was a, he was a, a big time appetite guy. Trust me. I remember many times going to look for the last bowl of cereal, <laughs> and the last bowl of cereal was gone. Growing up in Cleveland, Terrence Haynes also loved sports. He captained his high school football team as a senior and at 237 pounds, played running back, nose guard, linebacker, and kicker. He went on to play college football at nearby Baldwin Wallace. But in 1982, during Haynes' sophomore year, his mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. He left school and football behind to help support his family. When I had to hang up my cleats, I felt like I didn't even have a reason to live. So I had to refocus uh, more on her versus my own needs. But on the other hand, what brought me comfort was more food. By 1990, Haynes, then 28 years old and approaching 300 pounds, was managing fast food restaurants around Cleveland. But even with free meals at work, he still spent nearly $2,500 a month on food almost his entire monthly paycheck. I didn't pay my bills all the time. My lights were off, my gas was off. I didn't have water, running water. Food was much more important. He never disclosed his eating addiction at all, never. We never talked about it. How aware were you of your weight? I didn't want anyone to know, and I didn't want to know how much I weighed I made a point not to step on the scale. His appearance didn't matter to Shen Wei, a musician from Taiwan whom he'd marry in July 2006. What I saw him was his heart. You know, I mean, it wasn't so much of his appearance or how, he's, how he looks. But when we first got married, you know, I was concerned at first with his health. Throughout his 30s and into his 40s, Haynes was consuming an estimated 10 times the recommended daily intake of 2,000 calories. At 5 foot 9 and weighing well over 400 pounds, Haynes hit rock bottom one day in 2005. Getting into my car and breaking the car seat. How can I break my own car seat? I felt like I began to just sink into the ground. I couldn't take this any longer. 
According to research from the Cleveland Clinic Bariatric and Metabolic Institute, nearly 72 million American adults are obese. That's almost one-third the U.S. population. Around 300,000 deaths per year in the U.S. are linked to the disease. E60 asked the clinic's Dr. Karen Cooper to analyze Haynes' diet. He was eating to kill himself. If he had not stopped at the time that he did, I'm sure he would not be around much longer. Studies have already shown that obesity decreases your lifespan by at least 15 years, and it probably would have been sooner for him. You couldn't tell me that I was addicted to anything. You could not tell me that I was out of control. No one's going to tell me anything differently because in my mind, I'm the man. Until I met Paul. Time to start working. Paul Shauna is a personal trainer in Cleveland who first saw Haynes in April 2007. A man coming to the gym to hang out more than work out. A man who had ballooned to over 430 pounds. When I first saw Terrence, it was almost like a, you know, a double take. He looked like a huge sloth. His arms disappeared into his body. Paul looked at me face to face. He, he connected his eyes with my eyes. And he's telling me, Terrence, you're going to die. If you don't do something now, you're not going to make it to see next year. So if you're willing to put in the effort, I promise I will be there till the very end. Eight months later, in December 2007, Haynes finally committed to making a change and set a goal for himself. Lose 200 pounds in one year. Shauna instructed Haynes to eat small meals throughout the day, reducing his daily caloric intake from 20,000 to 1,800 calories. They worked out four to six times per week, concentrating on cardio and anaerobic exercises. There were a couple of points in time where I, I just, I wanted to walk away. I was pulling out my hair. You know, times where he's disappeared for, for, for a day, a couple of days. I would feel sorry for myself, but then I'm thinking, well, that's what I've been doing all my life. Feeling sorry for myself. Haynes stuck to Shauna's plan. In the first nine months, Haynes lost 150 pounds, almost 35% of his body weight. The results were awesome. My reward is him walking tall, being a man, and having people see that it can be done. <laughs> Drop. Without him, I wouldn't have been here today to speak to you. I owe Paul my life. In 2008, motivated by his weight loss, Haynes re-enrolled at Baldwin Wallace, set on finally completing his bachelor's degree at the age of 45. A conversation with the school's wrestling coach led to an invitation to try out for the team. To be that age, to come back after losing all that weight, to compete at a college wrestling level, even if it's only Division Three, is still, it's crazy. This season, Haynes won two matches and lost 13. But more importantly, his focus was on making weight. In January, Haynes, who once weighed over 430 pounds, did something he feared for nearly 25 years. He stepped on a scale. His goal? To weigh under 230 pounds. 227 and a half. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah. Thank That's you. Right, Terrence. <laughs> yeah. Terrence Haynes did it. He lost 200 pounds in one year. Well, this is lighter than when I was when I first started college in 1981. What are you feeling right now? I don't emotion? remember this weight. I feel like I, I can start over again. And this is just the beginning. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> What do you see when you look in the mirror? You know, I see um, a man who was so ashamed to look in the mirror, was finally facing himself and doing something about it. That's what I see.